it's a, a simple mission really, Mark, for the weekend. For, for the day itself, it's so important, isn't it? Don't be left with any regrets for this game. The worst thing in the world would be if you get the help you need from elsewhere and, and you don't do your own bit. Yeah, spot on. I mean, the only regret or the only scenario that can't happen is us not doing our job, really. So, yeah, as you say, we've got to do that. We've got to make sure we get ourselves in a position to win the game, um, play well, start really well, um, and, and really play at the level that we have done for the majority of the games in recent weeks. And if we do that, um, then, then, yeah, of course, we're reliant on other things after Wednesday night. So that's our um, first aim. Make sure we're ready to do that and, and find the best level that we can. Uh, in what's going to be, I think, a brilliant atmosphere. Sold out Abbey with pretty much all home fans is going to be brilliant. Um, and the supports have been amazing. I thought the atmosphere the other night at, at Burton was class. People really came and travelled in number and were really supportive of the team. So we're grateful for that. Um, we were disappointed we couldn't give them the result. And for ourselves to not be in control of the situation going into Sunday, it's a situation we haven't been in control of for months, really. So we wanted to try and grab that if we could. Um, but we've also chased it brilliantly, so we've got to continue that mindset of the weekend and hope that the other teams have a have a difficult afternoon, knowing that they're going to tough places to play their games. Um, but first and foremost, the focus has got to be on winning the game. Yeah, and presumably as well, avoiding too much thinking around what might have been. I guess from a footballer's perspective, during the course of a season, there's quite a lot of that that, that goes on anyway. You get quite used to dealing with setbacks. I know it's a bit different this time around, but it's it's just all part of the process, really. Yeah, look, it's not, not part that you want to cope with, and we've had to deal with it too often this season. I think this one was opportunity missed, really, is the frustration. Never taken for granted the, the difficult games that we've had in this, in this last week, but we were always in the position that if we could get to the last week, it might be able to be flipped into our hands. And so to be able to get to the last day in the race was going to be our main aim. I think we were always going to have to win this game at any point. We were always going to have to win the final game of the season. It was just in what condition and what that, that result would mean. Um, and if it gets taken away from us, but we do our job on Sunday, then so be it. But we're going to have to work like anything to, to do our little bit first and um, get rid of any disappointments the other night. I mean, we came close to drawing. Obviously, the save was magnificent towards the end. Had we got the point, the situation wouldn't really have been too much different. It might have felt a bit different um, because we wouldn't have lost the game, but it wouldn't have actually changed things too much. So winning, winning Wednesday was the, one, the result we needed to make it all about us on Sunday. Um, but we weren't able to do that, so we have to now just get on with it and um, win the game at the weekend and see where that takes us. To what degree have Forest Green been experimenting over recent games? Have they done anything different? Uh, I wouldn't say hugely, no. I mean, they've had a few players that have been out and unavailable, so haven't had huge numbers to pick from. They've been fairly consistent in the way in which they've played. I think you look at the results, they've had a really difficult season after a huge change from, from the promotion team. And then in recent months, they've had change with another manager and, and a lot of changes to the squad in January. And then um, you, you know that they're in, a, they're in a difficult position. You don't know what their motivation is going into the last game of the season. It can give you freedom to go and play. It can, can do all sorts. But we haven't, haven't got to get too wrapped up in that, really. We've just got to be, be good and win. Um, that, that's got to be the, the fundamental aim for us against a team that have found it difficult for a number of weeks, but beat Sheffield Wednesday a few weeks back. So you know that anything can happen at any time. Fundamentally, we've got to... Um, Make sure we don't feel sorry for ourselves after Wednesday. Do our job on Sunday and, and see where it goes against a team that um, is very, very difficult to get a measure of where they're at. Was Steve Seddon an injury on, on Wednesday night? Uh, Seds is sick at the minute, so he's not back in today. So we'll see whether or not he's got a chance for the weekend. And otherwise, is it just Lloyd Jones and Charlotte Tracy, the, the two who are, are question marks? Yeah, Charlotte will train today. Um, so he's got a chance for the weekend, but um, Lloyd's very unlikely. At this stage, it's obviously too early to be looking back at the season or conducting any sort of post-mortem, whatever it might be. But just to reflect on that briefly, at this stage, do you have a clear idea as to the story of the season, why things at certain points didn't go the, the way that you wanted them to? Are you quite comfortable with all of that, even at, at this stage? I wouldn't use the word comfortable, but I would say clear, um, probably is a better adjective to describe it. I'm also really wary of doing, like you say, the review of a season when the season is still bang on to be a success for us and staying in the league. So um, 
I think we have to park those at some point, but but the review process never really stops. I think that's just an ongoing thing. And there's so many chunks to the season that you can break down in different periods. But we are where we are for a number of reasons. Um, but ultimately, the, the one is that we've lost too many games. Uh, so, so we've got to try and win one on Sunday and hope that that flips things in our favour to stay in the league uh, for the following season, which we're desperate to do. And we've loved the experience of being here and we want to grow into a, a really sustainable, solid, secure League One club. That's what we, we try to do with aspirations to one day go higher. But um, we'll, we'll see what next step the journey takes. But for us, really, the most important one is just Sunday's game. And then after that, when we know where we are at three o'clock, uh, half past two, we'll have a much better idea of what the next steps is. And it's much easier then to talk about the story of the season. But I wouldn't really want to get drawn too much into that when we've still got such a big pivotal game ahead. Um, and everything's possible. And with that next step, is it a case of once we get to three o'clock on Sunday, have you planned out exactly what you want to do next, regardless of, of where you find yourself? Have you had to do that extra work of assessing all of the possibilities and knowing exactly which route you want to go down? Or is that not so important right now? You've got enough time to, to adjust next week and the, and the following weeks. Yeah, well, we have got a bit of time, but a new season does come around very, very fast. And there's other people in the club like Ben Strang and uh, Alex Tumbridge, those that work in the background that have a bigger part to play on longer term stuff. Obviously, we play every few days. That, that's the focus of my job, really, as much as possible. But you're always thinking bigger picture and longer term. And whatever, whatever happens Sunday, the chance will be to build a team that's strong and can be competitive next season. That, that won't change. Um, everything is uh, the same in that regard. So that's what we've got to... Um, work towards and, and we're constantly planning around all different scenarios for the for the new season but um, you know what you'd like things to look like how you'd like things to go and how they turn out can be very very different things so you can have an idea of what we'd like to do and how we want to keep building the club and actually many of those things don't change regardless so that's the, that, that is true to say that we are planning all the time quite deeply but um, yeah a number of things we'll have to wait until after the weekend to know where we are. And to touch upon something you mentioned earlier around the, the backing on Wednesday night, I know both with Wednesday and this weekend, not necessarily the circumstances you would have wanted, but a marker of where this club is at, that you take 1,500 uh, Burton on the Wednesday, you're going to have a home sellout on the, on the Sunday. That's a long way from, from where we were a few years ago. It is, yeah. Um, and, and we've had days in different leagues and lower leagues where we've taken similar amounts to these types of games. You know, we, we know when massive games come around and big occasions come, people really get behind it. I think, the, I think the biggest stat really over that is in a very, very tough season, the average attendances are through the roof compared to where they have been. There is no question, um, despite a difficult season on the pitch, this club's in a very, very strong position. Um, really stable, really well led, growing all the time, developing the infrastructure. Um, and we want to keep the pace with that on the field where we can and we've struggled with that at times this year but it's still possible to maintain that and, and, and finish the season off with a real success story um, but there's certainly plenty of good things going on and I think the, the atmospheres, the number of sellout crowds the number of people that have connected with the club and the team over the last few years is outstanding and we want to continue to grow that Cool, that's great for me Just a couple from me, Mark. Um, how big a blow would it be to be relegated on Sunday? Uh, we'll deal with that Sunday after the game, depending on what it is. Until then, everything's possible, so we're going to win and, and hope that everything goes our way. And I won't draw you too much on the release and retain list, but can we expect to see that quickly after the season's finished, or does that take a bit of time to uh, together? Yeah, no, it'll take a little bit of time. Um, I, being honest, I don't know exactly when. That hasn't been the priority thought in the last couple of weeks, but obviously those conversations will take place very quickly. Um, but as and when that gets announced, I'm not 100% sure. But you, yeah, you'd expect it relatively quickly, but no conversations have taken place as of yet. And just on the team news, did everyone come through the game OK on Wednesday? Uh, yes, yeah, no problems from, uh, from those that played, started, came on. So we've got everybody there and potentially Shiloh to add to that squad. That's great, thank you. I'm OK. Mark, can I just ask a question, if that's okay, please? Yes, sir. Um, how hard has it been, or otherwise, to lift the group after what was, for all of us that were there, a deflating night on Wednesday? 
Well, I haven't seen them yet, so I can't answer that really. Um, I'll see them shortly. I mean, obviously, you don't, you don't try and lift them after the game. Defeat needs to hurt and it needs to be um, painful, but you need to move on from it quite quickly. I think one thing that we've had to become very, very um, versed in too much so this year is recovering from disappointments and coming back. Um, and I think when you have bad results in good runs, they're easier to handle than bad results in bad runs. So uh, I expect that we will bounce back from it very quickly. We've got three working days left of the football season. If we can't give everything in those three days to turn in a really good performance um, and, and deliver a, a result, you know, we want, um, we want slaughtering for that. So we've got to deliver a result on Sunday. We, we've got to be good. We've got to be um, mindful of what goes on elsewhere, but it only matters if we win. So that, that's the first part. Um, and, and whilst people are a bit disappointed that we haven't taken an opportunity to put it in our hands, it hasn't been in our hands for months. Um, and even with a positive result at the weekend, we have to win this game uh, on Wednesday. We'd have had to win this game. I know the consequences would have been different had we won on Wednesday, uh, but we didn't. So we have to win Sunday and then hope that other things go for us. So that's it, really. That's where we find ourselves um, and we have to deliver. Can I ask what, last question for me, what, what message or what Churchillian words you may send them out with at five minutes to 12 on Sunday, what will be the message to the group as you send them out onto the pitch? Oh, I'm no Churchill, Tony, I've got to be honest with you. Um, so <laughs> I, I, think, um, I think the consistency of our message is really important. I don't, I don't think um, any words that I say will or should make a difference. Everybody knows the consequences of the game. Uh, the players have got their own pride to fight for it and, and each other. Uh, so nothing really changes in that regard. I think we've seen that in the team recently. It's up to us to deliver a performance. We have to win. We know that. Um, and being honest, anything I say at 5 to 12 will probably be forgotten anyway. I think they say the last thing you're told is the first thing you forget. So um, hopefully they rely on the messages that we've been working on over the last few weeks and months. And we deliver a really good performance, knowing the consequences of the game are big, but also we're playing in a sold-out stadium, we're at home, we have to win. It's a game that you've just got to go for. We've got to go and start like a train. We've got to be bang at it. We've got to enjoy the challenge and, and make sure at the end of the day, any regrets that we have are for months gone past, not the game itself.